Why do so many of the notes on your desk have a small hole in the middle? That's airmail. You spike the message on the beak of a homing pigeon. Not an optimal method. First one obviously has a hole in the paper, and secondly, the pigeons are constantly flying into cliffs. Uh, I think it... I think there's a simpler solution. And that would be... You could simply write the letters directly onto the pigeons themselves. As long as the pigeons are white and the ink black, the text should be clearly visible. Hmm, not a bad idea at all. But it would make the archiving more difficult. Records seem to be very important to you. Order is very important. Records are a tool to that end. I have a loose leaf binder for spells. Hmm, commendable. Maybe you can do something with this then. There is no room for a spell in my files. Archive it, Mr. Weathervane. Gladly. So, I'll get back to work then. You do that. After all, you have already accomplished something. A spell? Someone has written a note in the margin. Headmaster Pinkerton, the spell is currently circulating throughout the school. It opens tabs, knots, loops, and the like. By now, there is hardly a student or teacher in this school who still has their pants around their waists and not their ankles. We need to stop this immediately. <laughs> it seems magic isn't always limited to serious things. What's this? Another book page. I'll take it with me. The door to the magic school actually consists of several doors. One for the large creatures such as trolls, one for humans and elves and the like. And then there's one for gnomes and dwarves and one for even smaller beings. That is supposed to symbolize that everyone is welcome in the school. But in reality, graduate majors are almost exclusively human. I'm the first non-human to graduate in many years. Guess that's why my door hinges squeak. Hmm, if I put a coin into the gap in the door, on the same side as the hinges, the door won't open anymore. Done! and the caretaker never twigged. Oh, hello. Ah, why have you always got to be in my face? I think there's a coin stuck in the door. Can't open it anymore. Did you stick a coin in there? No! I hate it when the doors get blocked. Quick now! Omnia nunc aperero! Haha, <laughs> he didn't twig. Got them. One of these keys has got to fit. 
Ah, there we go. What are those noises, Professor Weathervane? I, uh, I was just removing an ugly stain from our display case. Our school's achievements should be there for all the world to see as a shining example. Well said. This must be the best clock in the world. Most only have two or three hands. This one has at least ten. A swan folded from a piece of paper. This is origami, an ancient elf art form. The dwarven word for this art form means something like pointy ears build dust catchers out of paper because they can't deal with stone. Hey, this isn't just some sheet of paper, it's... Sorry, swan. It is! Another book page. I'll take it with me. A nice pair of bellows. They really get a fire going. When my family wanted to forge something at home, I was in charge of the bellows. You are the most important gnome in this matter, they often used to say to me. I don't really know what the clock wants to tell me, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't just show the time. There's so much to discover. I wish I could stay here forever. A neat pile of firewood. More than enough to make a decent fire. Maybe it was always a carnivorous plant. But then again, perhaps it adapted to its new environment to survive. Don't worry, little plant. From now on, I'll take care of you. You won't have to go hungry anymore. Ugh, that's disgusting. Oh, that smells like rotten eggs. Or oh, like Grandad whenever he's eating bean soup. I'm gonna hold my nose. That gas smells like, like, well, you know, gas. Got it. Right then, sleeves rolled up, a song on the lips, and up we go. Oh, oh, who am I trying to fool? The, the, the dirt is rock hard and impossible to shift, and, and the broom's too big for me, and, and the hole's huge, and, and I hate cleaning. It'd take me hours to get this done. There must be a better way. when you can do magic. My magic broom is sweeping diligently, all by itself. 
I think I can leave it alone and take care of other things. With magic, nothing ever really goes wrong. He's already done with the floor. At least, I'd call it clean enough. If it were any more clean, it would just point out how dirty everything else is. Okay, Broom, you can stop. Broom, that's it. Hey, stop! Stop, I said! Oh, I may have a little problem. There has to be a way. By the powers of magic manifested in me, I command you, stop! Please? Hmm, nothing. Birds are flying, toads are leaping. Now is when the broom stops sweeping. Shazam! I should have known. After all, I, I'm not a witch. Maximus Dominum Brumus Prubere! Brumanus Aeon Domus Comicus Victorus! Hmm, nothing. Um, maybe I'd have more success if I didn't make stuff up. <laughs> ah, you've won. For the moment. But don't you get too cocky, because I'll be back after I find some help. When I first arrived at the school a few days ago, I got a real fright when I first saw it. I mean, I knew about armour from books, but if you imagine that there's a real person inside, and has been for decades, ew. That's silly. Whoever's in the armour would have died a long time ago. Unless it's a ghost. Ooh. Maybe the tapestry shows who the knights served. I don't know much about these things, unfortunately. We didn't have knights in the White Ridge Mountains. Probably they sank in the snow. The tapestry is in a miserable condition, like everything here. The colours are faded and... Hey, there's even a loose thread. Tapestry seems to be magic. At first the thread was very short, but now it's at least four paces long. I'll rip it off and take it with me. You can never have enough magic thread. Hmm, I could pull the thread through the hook at the end of the bone and use it as a kind of a needle. It worked! And I can even sew. Mum showed me while Dad was teaching Sydney how to weld. Excuse me, Headmaster Block. Yes? About those tasks. Yes. I have some good news from the entrance hall. The fight against the dirt has been won. Very well. However, what is your position on enchanted items? As long as they function properly and can be controlled, no problem. Then there's one more little thing I still have to do. Um, what I wanted to... Hmm? So, I'll get back to work then. You do that. After all, you have already accomplished something.
really cold in here. I'm going to light a small fire, okay? Do you intend to burn school property? No, I'm... There's some firewood right here. Yes, and it belongs to the school. Oh, sure. I hope that is not school property that you intend to burn there, Professor Weathervane. They're just a few old boards. From the school here? Yes, but you should have thrown them away. You should have thrown them away, but you didn't do so. 